Um, I welcome you for the last session of the electronics conference, the session 11A, uh, focusing on the electronics itself. Uh, we have uh, five speakers in the session, and uh, uh, the time allocation is a one and a half hour. That means the 18 minutes uh, per one speaker. Uh, so my name is Michal Prauzek, and I am chair of the, uh, this session coming from the University of Ostrava, Czech Republic. So uh, let's start. Uh, I would like to invite the first speaker, uh, Anton uh, Pat, uh, Patlins uh, for Latvia. Uh, so with the, with the name of the article, the device for the inactivation of the SARS-CoV-2 using the UVC LEDs. So it's your time now. Thank you, Chairman. Hello, dear colleagues. My name is Anton Spatlins, and uh, today's topic uh, you see on the screen. Uh, this uh, research is done together with my uh, Ukrainian colleagues from uh, Kharkov National Automobile and Highway University. Uh, it's uh, not very easy time uh, at Ukraine now, but uh, anyway, they do researches and uh, we can support them as we can. So what it is, dear colleagues? Do you know what it is? Yes? What? COVID, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but, uh, but three years before, uh, someone from you didn't know what it is. If, if, if you will see this picture. Uh, but uh, did you know it also? No. You see that you updated your uh, algorithms and congratulations to you, or to all of you, you updated image recognition algorithms in your brain, yeah? It is good news. Uh, but bad, bad news is that uh, this virus is, uh, serious but three uh, maybe two and a half uh, years before uh, some of us may be thinking that it's not so serious it's uh, it's uh, just another virus is yeah, in our life and when restrictions coming then uh, part of us also didn't uh, take these restrictions seriously and only when um, our close friends or relatives were injured or died from this virus uh, we began to believe in it uh, anyway uh, the summer 2020 now uh, 21 was coming uh, the sun was uh, uh, back and uh, the virus uh, uh, was reduced, activity of virus, some restrictions were, were cancelled and some of us began to believe that, wow, pandemic is over and we will live like before. But uh, epidemiologists uh, uh, didn't believe, uh, believe in, in it and came autumn. And uh, all we see uh, what happened this year. Uh, hospitals was overloaded, yeah, economic was down. And now is summer back. And some of us are very optimistic and think that pandemic is over. Yeah, but uh, I think that we still uh, must be careful and uh, not very optimistic. And uh, we uh, must try to uh, fight this virus in uh, all possible ways. Uh, it is, unfortunately, it's not possible to fight this virus uh, only by boxing or something else, we must uh, combine a lot of measures together 
to destroy this and to live normal life. But anyway, we uh, uh, must remember that this virus, as epidemiologists say, uh, this virus uh, will live uh, between us for years. Uh, unfortunately, this virus can survive in uh, very different uh, uh, conditions, in uh, very different uh, temperatures, on different surfaces, and uh, in different uh, pH levels, and, and it's, it's very survivable. So the purpose of uh, this work is to develop a device to inactivate the SARS-CoV-2 virus in public uh, buildings and transport uh, using UVC LEDs, uh, this uh, modern technology. And to uh, achieve the goal, it's necessary to solve these tasks, to analyze the sources of UV irradiation to determine the most effective uh, in the fight against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. To develop a control system for a disinfection device based on UVC LEDs, to develop the design of a device for incubation the SARS-CoV-2 virus, and describe the principal operation of the developed device. Uh, artificial sources of, of ultraviolet irradiation are those devices, technical means, uh, that have been designed by a man to obtain the uh, desired spectrum of light with specified wavelength parameters. And in this case, we are talking about uh, ultra, ultraviolet C, short wave irradiation. Uh, today's semiconductor LEDs uh, are gaining wide popularity, replacing lamps with uh, LEDs provides the following advantages. The possibility of creating a source of irradiation with the most effective wavelengths of uh, 265 nanometers without side irradiation uh, leading to the uh, formation of ozone, high uh, mechanical strength, significant reduction in the weight of the installation, unlimited number of on-off on switches, quick exit to the operating mode, the ability to adjust the radiation power over the wide range, a reduction of energy consumption, and due to the small size of the LEDs, uh, the final design of the emitter uh, can be given uh, any shape. And uh, of course, uh, uh, LEDs uh, are without mercury. And <clears throat> the shorter the wavelength, the more difficult is to manufacture LEDs and serial production of uh, UVC LEDs for uh, widespread use only began in the second half of the 2010s. Uh, however, the use of uh, UV lamps in such devices has a number of significant disadvantages. UVC LEDs can turn on and turn off uh, of thousands of times uh, with almost no degradation. In addition, UVC LEDs provide uh, full uh, rated uh, power almost uh, instantly uh, with no warm up time. This means that uh, the LEDs can be used by accumulating uh, hours of operation uh, only when switched on uh, and performing a disinfection function. The specified features of UVC lamps of, uh, operation significantly uh, reduce the functionality of the device in question. Therefore, uh, in this work, the, uh, we propose the design uh, of the device for disinfection of uh, room or vehicle using uh, UVC LEDs. The block diagram of the proposed system you see on the screen. Uh, to control the radiation power or brightness, each line of LEDs is uh, connected through an individual driver, uh, which is a, a current stabilizer. The entry device is powered by an AC-DC converter which, uh, with a dual output, 24 volts and 5 volts. This circuit uh, can be easily calculated and uh, converted to a, a different supply voltage, such as 12 uh, volt DC for automotive applications. In the uh, figure on the screen, uh, 
you see a drawing of the developed installation for disinfection of the environment uh, in order to inactivate uh, coronavirus. Uh, the appearance uh, of the device from different angels is shown on this figure. Uh, this design consists of uh, N vertical bars of UVC LEDs that are connected in a circle by LEDs. They are located uh, outward and uh, from a kind of cylinder. Each line of LEDs is connected via a separate LED driver that uh, can be adjusted. The LED driver current is uh, regulated by means of a pulse with modulation signal. The higher the pulse uh, due to cycle, the higher the current. In the upper part of the device, there is a stepper motor uh, on the shaft uh, of which the object distance sensor is fixed. When the disinfection device is turned on, the stepper motor makes one turnover uh, while uh, uh, the uh, ODC scans the room to determine how far away furniture and walls are from it. This allows the current of each bar of UVC LEDs to be uh, adjusted in proportion to the distance to the object uh, closest to it. Uh, it's necessary in order not to irradiate the surfaces of walls and furniture with uh, high intensity since ultraviolet uh, C radiation has a determinal effect on some materials. Since it's not recommended to use open UVC devices when people or animals are in the room, the PAR module allows detecting and uh, informing the MCU about their presence. When motion is detected, the uh, multipoint control unit turns off the UVC LEDs for three minutes. Unlike uh, UVC lamps, the number of LEDs uh, on off doesn't affect their uh, resource. In addition, they can be turned on immediately after turning off. Uh, yeah, as it's known, the number of uh, surviving micro microorganisms on surfaces and in the air decreases exponentially with uh, an increase in the dose of ultraviolet radiation. The average dose that, that kills 90% of coronaviruses is 67 joule per square meter. A maximum disinfection efficiency of 99.9% .9 is required only for uh, operating rooms, uh, maternity hospitals, etc. For school classes, public buildings, etc., 90% of uh, destroyed microorganisms are sufficient. This means that uh, depending on the category of the room, uh, one to three standard doses of uh, 67 till uh, 201 joule per square meter are sufficient. A raw calculation of the size of the room for which a device with a disinfection efficiency of 99.9% .9 with a germital, uh, germital uh, flow of 11.5 uh, watts uh, can be used show that the, this characteristic correspond to a room of uh, 25 square meters. And those depending on the area of the surface to be disinfected, the exposure time and uh, the required efficiency, it's possible to uh, determine the number of LEDs used in the device. Uh, the cost of the entry disinfector will depend on the number of LEDs. Uh, the use of light emitting diodes make it possible to obtain a, a compact disinfection device that will have fewer restrictions in using a comparison with the currently used installation based on bacterial cell lamps. In particular, the possibility of uh, precise focusing as well as power control over a wide range uh, will allow use uh, the disinfectant in rooms where people are constantly present without harm to people's health. Uh, and let's go to conclusions. Uh, due to the COVID-19 epidemic, there is an urgent need for uh, devices designed to inactivate the SARS-CoV-2 virus in the environment. Currently, the most common among these devices are UV lamps. However, they have a number of significant disadvantages, namely a short service life, uh, the presence of mercury, and the lack of flexible control. The disadvantages uh, are 
absent from UVC LEDs. The effectiveness in fighting uh, viruses uh, has been confirmed in many studies. It should be noted that today there are some limitations in the use of UVC LEDs. Uh, these are low efficiency and high price. However, uh, active investment in the development of UVC LEDs will make it possible uh, in the future to make them uh, competitive in relation to lamps and in these parameters. In this regard, the authors of this article have developed the design for a device for disinfecting a room using UVC LEDs. Presented drawings and the block diagram of the device describe the principle of uh, operation of this device. Uh, the value of this work uh, is uh, in the fact that the proposed concept of such cold wine activation allows the development of simple mobile device with high efficiency and long -like life cycle. The results of this work can be used for, for the production of a low power installation design disinfection for small area surfaces. Uh, this work has been supported by European Regional Development Fund with, uh, within the project adopting the public transport system to the COVID-19 challenge, ensuring its sustainability, it's uh, my postdoc project. And stay, stay safe and be healthy, dear colleagues. Thank you for your attention. And if you have some questions, I will be glad to answer. Okay, thank, thank you, you for your presentation. And now we have time for the question for the audience. So is there some question or online? If not, uh, I would like to ask about the dose, how you determine the sufficient dose to uh, to remove the COVID viruses? Uh, you know, um, uh, uh, it is um, uh, uh, developing device uh, when you uh, when you make a real prototype, uh, then um, uh, then uh, you make uh, calibration. Uh, you must uh, do uh, real microbiological tests uh, with real virus, and then you can um, choose um, uh, choose uh, this uh, this intensity. Yeah, uh, and it. It is very different depending from the uh, kind of uh, LEDs, and it is very difficult. Uh, different also um, depending on the manufacture of LEDs. Why I uh, can uh, say so because I, if we have maybe one minute, I will show you. It is a subject of another presentation. Yeah, but. Uh, uh, but but here ah, I I cannot oh I I it is not but the PowerPoint here can be shown only PowerPoint or GP girls for example can I can I show this yeah here uh, I made some another device also for we made for, for inactivation of uh, coronavirus it's electrical tests and uh, here is microbiological tests using uh, a lot of uh, petri dishes and uh, then we uh, uh, made this device and uh, in this device uh, no it's it's also working now yeah it's it's uh, it's ready prototype not only model yeah and here we we did uh, we did uh, a microbiological test and uh, for, for very small um, uh, uh, surfaces it's it's for public transport to, to disinfect this button okay yeah Okay, is there uh, some other question? Yeah.
Gedi Minas, o skovas from Cape Colonas Technical University. I want to ask, do you, are you going with devices installed in public transport? Yes. This, this device for today's presentation, this device is not only for public transport, it's for uh, all, all different kind of rooms. Also in the vehicles, you can uh, use this device in different uh, places in public transport system, closed places, not area, uh, not uh, outside of the building, but inside the building, uh, the, these devices. But uh, that small devices from, from another publication, it's for public transport. Yes, it's for, for not only also for public transport, but for small surfaces, for example, elevators uh, inside the elevator you can disinfect these buttons uh, all the places where people come and press buttons and where disinfection with uh, spray with liquids are not uh, very good yes it's like uh, you, you will change uh, liquid disinfection uh, uh, with this uvc of course you can exchange liquid uh, because the disinfection uh, efficiency of U, uh, uvc uh, in appropriate uh, wave of length uh, is uh, very similar to 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 for example spirit uh, but uh, without uh, harm to environment you know all this hello Thank you. So we should go to another presentation. Thank you for your presentation you. and answer. And <clears throat> we should move to second presentation. It should be connected online. It uh, presented by the Stoyan Kirill for Bulgaria. And uh, are we in the connection? Yes. So the name of the presentation is uh, application of uh, nonlinear drift memory storage models in analog reconfigurable devices. So uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will share the screen now. Hello, everybody. Dear Mr. Chairman, dear Rao, nice to meet you. I'm glad to present for you our paper titled Application of a Nonlinear Drift Memory Star Model in Analog Reconfigurable Devices. The presentation contains the motivation, a description of the applied memory star metal oxide model and its LT spice realization application of the model in analog reconfigurable devices, integrator, differentiating circuit, analog filters, a comparison of the used memory star models, and finishes with the conclusions. The motivation for this work is a partial deficit of simple metal oxide memory star models needed for effective analysis of metal oxide memory stars and memory star based devices. For such analysis, appropriate simulation software as uh, ORCAT PSPICE, HSPICE, MicroSIM, and others is needed. In the recent years, LTSPICE is preferable for electronic circuits analysis because it is a free and user friendly product, almost without convergence problems. Owing to this, LT spice realization and analysis of the considered model are realized. Its application in analog reconfigurable devices, together with some of the classical memory star models, as Yogleker and Biolek, and the respective analysis are described. The memory star is a comparatively, oh, very sorry, very sorry, colleagues. Uh, I, I uh, forgot to. Uh, 
the resistor is a comparatively um, new electronic uh, two terminal element uh, with memory and switching properties. Uh, in the last uh, 10 years, uh, it is under intensive analysis uh, due to its lower power consumption, uh, nano size dimensions, good switching and memory properties, and compatibility to the present CMOS integrated circuits technologies. Along with the different types of resistors, as polymeric, ferroelectric, spintronic, and others, the metal oxide based memory elements have stable switching properties and characteristics. Several basic models of uh, such resistors, as uh, Jogleker, Biolek, Lecton, and Lyco, and others, exist in the scientific community. Each model can, contains at least two equations. The first one is the state-dependent current voltage relationship. And the second uh, relates the time derivative of the state variable and the current or the voltage. The proposed uh, metal oxide uh, memristor model is a simple one and uh, it is based uh, on Williams uh, model for oxide memristors and Biolic model which are presented in the left. Uh, these uh, classical models uh, use uh, the standard heavy side uh, step function, STP, which is a non-differentiable one. The first equation in the proposed uh, model in the right uh, expresses the relation between the voltage and the current, and it is based on a parallel connection of two nonlinear uh, state-dependent resistances. Uh, which represent the metal oxide memristor nanostructure. The second and the third equations of the model represent the dependence between the time derivative of the state variable and the memristor current. Uh, an additional sinusoidal component uh, is included in the second equation for increasing uh, the nonlinearity of the representation of the ionic dopant drift. The voltage activation threshold applied in the state equation uh, allow the model to operate in different modes. When the voltage is lower than the activation threshold, then uh, the memristor behaves as a linear resistor. But uh, if the voltage exceeds uh, this uh, threshold, then the state variable is uh, changing proportionally to the effective uh, flux linkage, uh, the time integral of the voltage. The applied uh, in the model step-like step uh, window function, uh, STTP, um, is uh, an improved version of the standard heavy side uh, step function. It is continuous and differentiable one, and uh, it is applied for a partial avoidance of convergence problems in SPICE environment. The parameter N uh, determines the sharpness of this function in the region of switching. Uh, based on the presented mathematical model, uh, the respective LT spice uh, memristor model is uh, presented here. Uh, the equivalent schematic uh, is given in figure one. A, uh, the terminals are denoted as top electrode and bottom electrode. The current of the dependent uh, source, uh, GY, uh, is proportional to the time derivative of the memristor uh, state variable. The capacitor is used for integration of this current, and uh, the voltage across the capacitor is proportional to the memristor uh, state variable. Uh, this electrode could be used for measuring the memristor state. The resistor R uh, is at a very high value and uh, is uh, applied for a partial avoidance of convergence problems. The current of the source G1 is uh, representing the memristor current. In the right hand side, uh, uh, this uh, memristor model is connected in a simple electronic circuit for analysis uh, of the respective uh, current voltage and state flux uh, characteristics. Uh, the LT spice code is uh, presented below. Uh, a schematic uh, of a memristor based uh, integrator is presented in figure 2a. It is based on the classical resistor capacitor uh, integrator circuit uh, 
with operation amplifier, uh, where uh, one of the resistances is, uh, is replaced by a memory store. Um, the respective time diagrams of the input and uh, output signals uh, are presented below. Uh, it is visible that uh, the output voltage uh, is proportional to the time uh, integral of the input uh, voltage. Uh, the state variable in this case is changing in a very narrow range uh, corresponding to a soft switching mode uh, and uh, it does not reach the boundary values. Uh, here is presented a differentiating uh, circuit. Uh, it is uh, based on the classical uh, analog. Uh, the memory star model here is denoted by B1. Um, the level of the input signal uh, is uh, higher than uh, the memory star activation threshold, uh, but uh, uh, the change of the state variable is uh, proportional to uh, a soft switching mode. The respective uh, time diagrams are presented below. Several models, uh, as Yoglik here, Biolik, uh, uh, are also included for comparison. And in this case, uh, uh, all they are uh, operating in a soft switching uh, mode. Uh, here are presented two simple uh, filters uh, based on the classical resistor capacitor uh, low pass and high pass filters uh, and uh, uh, in figure B is presented a band pass filter as a combination of these uh, groups. They are based on memory stores. Uh, in this case, uh, the input signal is lower than the activation threshold uh, and uh, the state variable does not change. But uh, uh, if uh, uh, we need a change of the respective uh, cutoff frequencies, then uh, by external voltage pulses, uh, it is possible to change the memory stance uh, state uh, and the respective uh, resistance of the memory stances, and then uh, to change the respective uh, characteristics uh, presented uh, below. Uh, then, uh, a brief uh, comparison here is uh, presented uh, of the use of Mr. models. Uh, and for, for this case, uh, several criterias, criteria are used as the complexity, activation thresholds, uh, accuracy, simulation times, boundary effects, uh, and uh, the operating frequency. Uh, the simulation time of the used model is lower than this of the uh, Williams model and a little bit higher than. Uh, Yoglik and Biolik uh, models. Uh, it has a good uh, accuracy. Uh, it uh, correctly represents the boundary effects uh, due to the applied uh, window function. Uh, also, it is um, appropriate for soft switching and hard switching mode. Uh, and uh, it could represent uh, correctly the memory effects. Uh, um, it could be also used for analysis of complex electronic circuits because uh, it is with a simplified structure. Uh, in the end of the presentation, um, it could be stated that a simplified, uh, modified, and nonlinear metal oxide model of a resource is presented. Uh, it includes a highly nonlinear window function and activation thresholds. The OT specialization is analyzed uh, almost without convergency problems uh, due to the applied differentiable step life function. And uh, it is applied and analyzed in simple analog uh, configurable devices. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Okay, thank you for the presentation. Now we have thank time you. for the questions. So, is there some question? Get uh, get a minute, of course, from <coughs> Kaunas University of Technology. Uh, do you um, uh, investigate um, um, real memory stores? Uh, because you did uh, this uh, like mod model LT spice, but uh, maybe. Maybe you research some real memory stores circuits. 
Thank you. Thank you very much for your uh, question. Uh, of course, we uh, compared uh, the proposed uh, metal oxide memory star model uh, with uh, several uh, current voltage uh, characteristics of real uh, memory stars as, as uh, titanium uh, dioxide, uh, hafnium oxide, uh, tantalum oxide uh, memory stars, uh, and uh, using uh, um, a technique for minimization of uh, the error between the currents of uh, the simulated uh, uh, model and uh, the experimental uh, characteristics. And uh, after comparison to some of the mainly used uh, models uh, as Lechton and Laiho and Pickett uh, model, uh, the proposed uh, model has uh, a comparatively good uh, properties, uh, accuracy and uh, switching and memory uh, properties. And uh, it is a simplified uh, model for realization in uh, SPICE uh, products. Uh, it is convenient uh, if uh, we investigate uh, more complex uh, circuits with many memory stores. Thank you for your question. Okay, thank you. Uh, is there any other question? So if not, I thank you for your presentation and we will see you once again and on the end of the, this, uh, this section. But uh, now it's time for the third presentation uh, for uh, Gemididas Uskovas. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's called um, you. using seismogram mathematical model for simplified adjustment of adaptive filter. Uh, hello, uh, and uh, I want to uh, present uh, uh, paper uh, using seismogram uh, mathematical model for simplified adjustment of uh, adapted filter. And uh, I, uh, my supervisor is uh, Argumentus uh, Valinevichus, uh, and um, uh, he's uh, what I present and the uh, introduction. Uh, we uh, live in interesting uh, like uh, time, and the uh, first uh, speaker of this section, Anton, uh, uh, said that uh, Gelf was uh, mentioned uh, that Gelf is uh, one of the important uh, think in our life, uh, and uh, after pandemic uh, and during pandemic, uh, we uh, like uh, more. Uh, think about it before maybe less uh, think. Uh, and uh, uh, main like uh, issue is uh, how, how to uh, measure uh, and the uh, patient's uh, health and the uh, uh, heart uh, uh, disease recognize uh, like uh, and during uh, our activity, not an, uh, at at the hospital, because at the hospital uh, our uh, like um, parameters when we uh, we research uh, changes uh, are different uh, because uh, sometimes are better than uh, at home, and uh, also uh, our <clears throat> like motivation is um, uh, more. Uh, do with uh, patients uh, like health uh, analysis uh, outside hospitals because in hospitals uh, uh, maybe we don't uh, have time uh, to uh, analyze it because uh, very big roles to to, hosp to doctors and. Um, uh, we not uh, so uh, good uh, uh, you like uh, analyze and the uh, <clears throat> uh, possible ways for uh, solve this uh, issue is uh, like uh, 
main known uh, method uh, use uh, electrocardiogram uh, or photoplasmography or radio waves uh, and the uh, now new technologies let us uh, 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 do this uh, without uh, like um, uh, wires uh, more easier uh, and uh, this paper more concentrate on another uh, way like use uh, me mechanoelectrical uh, like signals uh, for this and uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, more uh, uh, we concentrated to, to seismocardiogram uh, which uh, is a uh, uh, chest mechanical vibration uh, and uh, uh, we measure it uh, with accelerometer. Uh, uh, if compared with ballistogram, ballistogram more uh, measure uh, like uh, 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 blood uh, with um, uh, vessels uh, like uh, mechanical uh, uh, <clears throat> difference. Uh, and here, uh, seismocardiogram, uh, we use, uh, measure uh, vibration, mechanical. Also, gyrocardiogram uh, let us uh, um, <clears throat> measure uh, health, uh, no, heart uh, disease, uh, heart work, uh, measure uh, <clears throat> in different angles. <clears throat> and the uh, uh, main issue is that uh, no, uh, no much data are, uh, are collected uh, in, uh, in uh, like in public databases uh, and the uh, uh, most uh, uh, similar researches uh, which uh, investigate uh, <clears throat> seismocardiogram says uh, that main issue is that we don't have uh, uh, and more uh, like uh, real uh, data uh, for validation uh, uh, signals. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> uh, here uh, is a uh, like model uh, developed uh, numerical mom, uh, model uh, of uh, seismocardiogram signal. And uh, here is an uh, algorithm uh, that uh, we <clears throat> uh, in input uh, put uh, artifacts mean of, uh, of this uh, signal and uh, fidelity points uh, uh, when uh, this uh, happens and uh, we model uh, researchers. Uh, can if uh, this signal not uh, looks very good, uh, can uh, change these uh, parameters and uh, the signal looks uh, uh, differently. Uh, yes, uh, this uh, <coughs> uh, model is different because uh, other models uh, more concentrate to physical parameters, uh, mechanical parameters, like hydromechanical uh, of uh, heart work, uh, and uh, maybe sometimes we don't uh, have uh, we have to more uh, understand about this. But uh, here is for people um, or researchers who like um, maybe more uh, uh, electronics or informatics uh, uh, easier uh, uh, can use for investigate. And uh, yes, uh, we seem uh, here you uh, look. You can see sequence we simulate one minute uh, like uh, work of uh, <clears throat> uh, this uh, uh, heart uh, like uh, heart beats and the add when we add uh, uh, this um, uh, noise uh, in the result we have uh, like real situation uh, when. Uh, uh, we use accelerometer on, on body. And uh, uh, 
after <coughs> uh, we have to do signal processing of uh, this uh, uh, um, uh, modeled uh, seismo sig uh, signal, uh, seismo uh, cardiogram signal, and they use adaptive uh, filter. And uh, <coughs> in this table, uh, we can see that uh, after adjustments, uh, uh, we have uh, like uh, finite impulse response uh, <coughs> filter before adaptive in input. Uh, we have uh, that uh, this filter have to be um, 100 order and the adaptive uh, filter uh, <coughs> 822. Now, he is uh, like uh, uh, optimal parameter. Uh, when we uh, uh, analyze uh, this uh, model signal. Uh, but uh, after <coughs> uh, uh, these uh, signals, uh, uh, no, this data be before this uh, table, <coughs> uh, uh, we can uh, use for adjust uh, uh, this adaptive filter, uh, now we use uh, real uh, accelerometer parameters. And uh, in result, we, we see that uh, <clears throat> uh, here, uh, hit, hit rate uh, calculated uh, is uh, 107 uh, second filter, with, which use uh, uh, in input uh, in infinite impulse response, we received uh, 98, uh, <coughs> and the uh, signal noise ratio is uh, minus five and uh, minus uh, seven. Uh, it uh, uh, shows that um, uh, till uh, is uh, uh, big noise. Uh, okay, after we can uh, like uh, adjust uh, individually uh, with uh, uh, adaptive filters <coughs> and uh, a little our uh, like um, uh, data uh, changes and uh, more uh, better. Uh, for, for example, processing time reduce until one second uh, for two. And uh, here is uh, how looks signal uh, after this uh, uh, processing. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> uh, here is uh, okay. You can see that. Um, Uh, here uh, is like uh, <clears throat> frequency uh, where uh, re, uh, re, no, band of frequency uh, where is uh, uh, this signal. And uh, here we can uh, see that uh, here is like peaks of uh, aorta opening and the aorta closing uh, uh, artifacts. Uh, and conclusions. <clears throat> Uh, oh. <clears throat> this uh, mathematical model let uh, uh, more accurately uh, and uh, in a shorter time adjust uh, adaptive filter uh, and uh, for first uh, adaptive filter uh, processing benefit is 740 uh, nine decibels, uh, and uh, for this we use uh, 1.2 seconds, uh, and uh, for second uh, adaptive filter um, processing benefit is uh, 4.7 uh, decibels. It's uh, it means that uh, infinite uh, impulse response uh, filter better um, <coughs> processing and. Uh, um, uh, this uh, signal noise ratio is uh, negative, but uh, <clears throat> it shows that uh, 
we have to re reduce uh, this uh, uh, noise which, which uh, left uh, and um, <clears throat> uh, for better understanding the seismocardiogram, we have uh, to uh, have more like uh, clinical uh, experiments for validation with uh, uh, experiments uh, and uh, maybe other researchers uh, also use this uh, um, mathematical model and uh, like um, uh, let uh, more um, like easier uh, do research and in future he is a <clears throat> uh, another prototype uh, which use uh, five accelerometers um, it's future work okay thank you for attention questions okay thank you for the presentation and now we have time for the questions so is there some question uh, hello uh, thank you for a nice presentation and uh, i may have maybe two questions the first question because we have already uh, let's say know about acoustic uh, stethoscope automated stethoscope so i guess that these accelerometers they get the very similar signal as stethoscope so what would be advantage of using your accelerometer instead of this stethoscope which are just here and so on so this is the first question uh -huh. okay. and the the second question is because i guess that your goal is to recognize some abnormalities to diagnose some disease so maybe your filter will filter out the disease if you focus only to get the correct signal mm -hmm. and maybe this is what is most important this is incorrect signal in in this so so this is just the question if you recognize or consider it which kind of disease are you going to recognize using your device? And in that case, that your filter does not filter out what you are searching for. So this was my question. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> okay, um, I uh, open this uh, slide because uh, uh, our this, uh, articles uh, other researchers uh, did uh, in which uh, uh, use same accelerometer uh, and uh, but other band of uh, frequency and uh, uh, other it's uh, in other band uh, we can see uh, this uh, sound of heart. Uh, because uh, accelerometer is like pie pie no, piezoelectric uh, and the uh, stethoscope also. Uh, uh, yes, we can use it. Uh, here <clears throat> in this signal, uh, for example, uh, other uh, frequency bands, uh, we can re re research uh, also investigate uh, briefing uh, amplitudes, but uh, here more uh, 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 is concentrated to, to heart in uh, this band uh, from one uh, to 50 uh, <coughs> hertz uh, low frequency. Uh, and um, uh, to second question, yes, uh, we can miss some important things, uh, but uh, um, and uh, uh, for example, from here, when we know our opening and closing, we can calculate, for example, systolic and diastolic time. Uh, we, for, for example, uh, doctors, uh, <coughs> uh, we can now uh, um, uh, make some decisions about uh, heart, how is uh, is uh, is hard work good or not? Uh, yes, uh, it's uh, like uh, um, also it shows that uh, we don't know 
till now too much about this signal uh, and the, uh, uh, new technologies, for example, lab now, like uh, uh, these um, investigations like restart again and uh, um, use another like uh, accelerometers uh, uh, because they are smaller, smaller, you can put uh, on, the, on the chest. <clears throat> um, maybe, uh, yes, in, in cooperation with doctors, we can, uh, for example, maybe uh, do more uh, uh, like um, uh, uh, decisions, more uh, valuable, valuable decisions valuable uh, about this disease. Thank you. Is there some other question? It's not necessary. Yes, it's for the online Very short question, layman question. So, so this on this diagram, you always show the absolute value of uh, acceleration. Uh, the direction of acceleration is of no importance, so it is nothing to because, see inside. Uh, here, uh, yes, accelerometer measure uh, free axis x y, yes. uh, but uh, he is calculate total. Yes, understand. And uh, for this, uh, uh, not important how put it is uh, this accelerometer. So I, I just think if, if there is somebody to see in, in the direction, nothing. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have many questions, but uh, we have uh, behind the time and I feel we can discuss on the lunch. So thank you very much for your presentation and answers. And uh, now it is time for the fourth presentation uh, from Teresa Paterova, Czech Republic. And uh, it's named uh, Thermoelectric Generated Powering Study for the Environmental Monitoring IoT Devices Based on Very Low Power Temperature Differences. So very long name and you can start. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, so hello everybody in Palanga, hello everybody online. Uh, today I would like to present you uh, the, the content of the article that me and my colleagues from Technical University of Ostava wrote. Uh, the presentation uh, will be like it's here written so at the beginning i would like to introduce you to the environment monitoring devices uh, then i would like to describe uh, our experiment uh, and uh, the experimental results and at the end uh, just summarize it to the conclusion and uh, said something about potential future work so uh, environment monitoring in remote areas uh, embedded devices uh, played in accessible locations such as uh, deserts or forests uh, are there for specific, um, some specific monitoring purpose uh, and they need to um, fulfill some requirements. It means uh, because there is no power grid, so uh, they also have to be low maintenance and to get log lifetime and no primary batteries. And for no power grid, there need to find uh, any other um, energy source. So there is um, a solution in uh, energy harvesting. Uh, as you can see, there are many energy harvesting sources such as solar irradiation, wind, and so on. And uh, we focused on the last one, that's uh, the temperature difference. Uh, so for the temperature difference or the temperature difference is used by a thermoelectric generator to uh, generate energy. And we were focused on low temperature differentials, which were from one to 10 degrees Celsius. Uh, the reason was uh, simple. It was because it was not uh, specified in the uh, product data sheet uh, by the manufacturer. 
So uh, we proposed uh, experimental module that got uh, various parts. Uh, the first one was uh, thermoelectric generator block. Uh, so it was composed of the thermoelectric generator and uh, water system, as you will see in the next slide. Uh, then uh, energy harvesting uh, development board, which was composed of DC-DC converter and some other parts. And uh, sensor module, which was composed of uh, temperature sensors to measure the temperature uh, of the, uh, each part of uh, the thermoelectric generator and uh, load. So uh, there is the first part, the thermoelectric generator part. So uh, you can see a water container which was uh, the green one, which was filled with uh, 300 milliliters of slightly hot water. <laughs> and uh, the water circulated uh, by pump through a water cooler circuit to increase the temperature. And uh, then the te temperature gradient was created between the contact uh, side of the uh, thermoelectric generator, which was po uh, positioned uh, uh, between the coolers. You can see the uh, blue part. So that's uh, the second part. So energy harvesting uh, development board, which was composed of DC-DC converter and uh, energy storage, uh, just for case there's not enough uh, energy uh, by the thermoelectric generator and uh, measuring module uh, to measure current voltage and our outputs. So, uh, we uh, designed two uh, experimental procedures. Uh, the first one was focused on the thermoelectric generator and the second one on the DC-DC converter. Uh, so as I said, we were focused on the low temperature differentials uh, from one to 10 degrees Celsius. And we wanted to obtain uh, thermoelectric uh, characteristics, which uh, uh, are provided by manufacturer only for cooling, not for generating. And so we uh, performed 11 measurements, uh, uh, which differs in uh, using uh, different uh, loads, which was by the resistance decade. And uh, uh, we obtained uh, current and voltage parameters of each uh, temperature differential. And then the DC DC converter part, uh, uh, we wanted to um, get the starting voltage. So we uh, used the laboratory uh, power supply and we uh, uh, the voltage was gradually adjusted in the range from 30 to 150 millivolts. And uh, also uh, we wanted to know the uh, energy conversion efficiency, but it was uh, already stated by the manufacturer. So it was not really so necessary. Uh, so the, there is uh, reference solutions which were free and it were this different solution were used to evaluate uh, the proposed uh, tech module. So as you can see, uh, the authors used uh, wider ranges of the temperature differentials uh, that we, than we. Mm. So uh, there are the results of the, uh, the thermoelectric generator procedures. We received a power output approximately uh, from one to 75 millivolts. As you can see on the figure, uh, where is uh, the power output at each uh, temperature differential. Uh, you can see that the power output uh, is uh, lower than the reference solutions, but uh, even though it's uh, sufficient to supply uh, devices in various locations, I uh, picked uh, some of them in the article, there are more, uh, but uh, you can see that uh, uh, it could be uh, used uh, for soil moisture or temperature sensor in agriculture or temperature sensors for human body monitoring, uh, many cases. So there are results for the DC-DC converter procedures. Uh, so we found out that the DC-DC converter was able to achieve a reliable output voltage of 1.8 vo uh, volts uh, when there were a static voltage of 33 uh, millivolts. 
uh, after reaching uh, this value, uh, the DC DC converter was uh, op op uh, able to operate with a voltage of uh, 25 millivolts. Uh, so it uh, refers to the minimal uh, temperature differential uh, that's required to start the circuit, and that's uh, from 1 to 1.4 uh, degrees Celsius. And uh, the low conversion efficiency, uh, there were proved uh, uh, what's uh, stated by the manufacturer. And uh, 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 it's so low because uh, it's mainly due to the losses on the compact step-up transformer and rectification of the input voltage from the resonance circuit. So uh, now let's summarize it. So we used, as I said, uh, temperature difference from one to 10 degrees Celsius, and we received a power output uh, from one to uh, 75 millivolts. Uh, and the most important thing I would say is uh, that uh, the required temper thermo, uh, temperature difference is uh, to power some embedded device is from one to 1.4 degrees Celsius. And a few words about uh, future work. I think that or the module is composed uh, to be used for uh, various tech uh, thermoelectric generator. So uh, that's possibility to make a comparison. Uh, also, we can uh, develop, um, develop a mathematical model of a thermoelectric generator powered IoT device and make some simulations uh, with uh, historical data, data, or we can deploy uh, some machine uh, learning procedure for smart consumption management. And that's all for my side. Thank you for, so much for attention. Okay, thank you for your presentation. Now we have uh, time for the questions. So is there some question? Uh, hello, I'm Emilio Cuñas from the University of Vigo in Spain. Uh, thank you very much for the presentation. I think it was uh, very clear. I have only one uh, one question: uh, Is that uh, you consider that the the power generated is enough to to support the sensor system? And I think that it also it is also enough to support the transmission of the data to to other nodes. Probably look into the name to the numbers, but I don't know if you. They did any kind of calculations on uh, how long you can transmit the, this data with the, with IoT systems or well uh, anyway anyway I think that the, the power is enough to to activate the transmitter so it is okay mm -hmm. uh, so just uh, just to, to to think or perhaps impossible work impossible future work yeah. uh, how long you can put a place or how long from uh, from a grid uh, support system you can place. Uh, your your network of uh, of sensors. Um, it, it could be just a, 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 a suggestion. Not don't worry about that. Just uh, saying that I think it's enough to transmit. But uh, you could uh, think on uh, how long you can uh, place in order to to do uh, to extend the, the the usability or to extend the the, the possibilities of uh, applications in real world. Yeah, I haven't considered it yet, but uh, I don't know if Michael in his previous work didn't consider it. Maybe you can say a few yeah, words. It's your presentation. Okay. <laughs> 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 so we will see. <laughs> okay. So next question. Uh, thank you for the presentation so my question is uh, you mentioned the power output varies from 1 uh, millivolt to 75 so or 74 point something uh, so how do you think it varies on what parameters does do you get low and do you get high on which occasions oh, i'm sorry can you repeat it i don't think i really understand your question because in my case i have just one peak uh, power output value but in your case you have the, the lowest one is one millivolt up to 75. Yeah, it differs in the temperature differential which uh, you use, if it's uh, one uh, degree Celsius or if it's 10 degrees Celsius. So that's the range. 
question so we have a few minutes to left so i should also ask about the work so uh um i i would like to ask about the temperature difference uh, so what is target uh, uh, application so uh, where i can find uh, such low temperature difference uh, i would say it's uh, for example in uh, healthcare monitoring so human body and uh, ambient environment for example or um, or environment monitor in agriculture uh, like uh, the difference between the soil temperature and the ambient environment uh, there you can find these uh, temperature differentials okay thank you so is there some other question or online question no so thank you very much and now it's time for the fifth uh, it means the uh, last presentation of this session it's it uh, it will be online so the presenter is uh, again the stoyan kirillov for bulgaria and the name of the article is a uh, nonlinear titanium dioxide memory store model for memory crossbar analysis. So thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I will share the screen now. Uh, dear colleagues, uh, nice to meet you. Hello, everybody. Now uh, I'm glad to present for you uh, our paper. Uh, the presentation contains the motivation for the work, uh, uh, a brief description of uh, the proposed non lister model and uh, its LTSPICE uh, realization also application in a passive uh, and uh, hybrid uh, memory crossbars, comparison of the applied memory star models and uh, uh, the conclusion. The motivation is uh, related again to a partial insufficiency of uh, memory star models, uh, um, simplified and uh, highly nonlinear, suitable for uh, um, metal oxide uh, memory elements uh, simulations, also LT spice realization and analysis, comparison with other standard memory star models, and uh, application uh, in uh, several simple memory crossbars. Uh, here is presented uh, the symbol of uh, the memory store uh, in electronic circuits. Uh, in the next uh, sub-figure, uh, a simplified uh, physical structure of uh, titanium dioxide and hafnium dioxide memory stores. Uh, uh, and um, the electrodes are the anode and the cathode, respectively. Uh, adult region is uh, presented in the left uh, and uh, in the right uh, is the pure metal oxide. The adult region contains oxygen uh, vacancies. Uh, in the final figure is uh, a substituting uh, equivalent electric circuit uh, containing uh, two uh, nonlinear uh, resistances uh, dependent uh, on the state variable. In this case, the state variable is expressed uh, as a ratio between the length of the adult region and uh, the, the whole memory star size. Uh, in the left uh, is presented uh, Biolic uh, model, which is one of the mainly used uh, standard memory star models. Uh, and in the right is the proposed memory star modified model. Uh, the first equation is the current voltage uh, relationship uh, dependent on the state variable. Uh, 
the next uh, equation contains uh, the time derivative of the state variable and uh, in the right uh, uh, it's a relation on uh, the current and uh, the window function in the red color uh, in this case uh, it is a modified version of a biolic uh, window function uh, with additional uh, polynomial expression for increasing the nonlinearity of uh, the the pan drift and also this model uh, includes activation threshold uh, for separating uh, the soft switching hard switching and uh, uh, a mode uh, when uh, the state variable does not change uh, the applied uh, step like uh, function again uh, is a uh, uh, improved analog of the heavy side step function um, but uh, it is a uh, differentiable and uh, continuous one uh, the parameter uh, n is used for uh, changing the sharpness of uh, the function in the in the region of switching um, sorry. Uh, this um, memristor model is uh, expressed in LT Spice uh, with the first uh, schematic. Uh, the structure is similar to, to the previous one. Um, the principle is based on integration of the current of the source G1 by the capacitor C1. R2 is for uh, a partial avoidance of convergence problems. Uh, and uh, respectively, uh, in the left uh, is presented uh, the voltage uh, source with uh, its internal resistance. Uh, this model uh, is uh, applied in a simple circuit for analysis uh, and uh, the corresponding uh, LT spice code uh, is uh, presented uh, be below and uh, it could be uh, easily adapted uh, for using in other uh, spice uh, products uh, as ORCAT P spice, uh, H spice, uh, and uh, others. Uh, here is presented uh, a simple application of the considered uh, memristor model in a passive memory crossbar presented in figure three, uh, the uh, respective electrodes are the bit lines and the word uh, lines. Uh, using uh, the multiplexers, uh, it is possible to select a given memory element and to store a bit of uh, logical information by applying uh, uh, voltage pulses with level higher than the activation threshold and uh, the reading process is uh, realized by voltage process with low uh, level uh, lower than the activation threshold uh, and in this case uh, the stored information uh, is not uh, affected uh, during the reading uh, in the time diagram uh, is uh, presented uh, the memory star voltage and respectively the change of the state variable according to the proposed uh, memory star model and uh, to several standard models as uh, Jogleker, uh, Biolek, and uh, Lechton and Laiho. Uh, if uh, a voltage pulse is uh, applied to the respective memory element, uh, the change of the state variable and the respective resistance uh, is not uh, instantly, but uh, uh, the model uh, ensures a rapid uh, change of the respective uh, state variable. And uh, in this case, uh, the Lichtonian LIHO and the proposed model uh, ensure uh, rapid uh, change, while the Biolic and uh, uh, Jogleker memory star models uh, are related to a slower change of the memory stance. Uh, here is presented um, a new uh, simple schematic of a hybrid uh, memory matrix. Uh, in this case, uh, most transistors uh, are applied uh, for uh, selection of the respective memory elements and also for a partial 
uh, avoidance of the parasitic uh, sneak uh, paths between the non-selected membristors. Um, in the previous uh, case of a passive uh, memory uh, circuit, uh, uh, many of the membristors uh, are uh, reverse biased uh, and due to the operation in uh, hard switching mode, uh, they uh, restrict uh, the parasitic uh, sneak paths. Uh, in this case, uh, also uh, the Lechton and Laiho in the proposed uh, model uh, ensure a rapid uh, change of the uh, state variable. Uh, and uh, then they, uh, they have uh, better switching properties according to Yogleker and uh, uh, Biolek uh, models in this case. Uh, here is uh, presented uh, a short comparison of the considered uh, models. Uh, according to uh, the complexity, the proposed uh, model has uh, lower complexity that, uh, Lechton and, than Lechton and Laiko model and uh, a little bit higher than Yogleker and uh, Biolek. Uh, uh, it uh, is with included uh, activation uh, thresholds, uh, uh, allowing uh, it to operate in different uh, modes. Uh, also, the simulation time is lower than this of uh, Lechtonian and a little bit uh, higher than Biolek and Yogleker. Uh, in the considered model, uh, uh, it is possible to represent correctly the boundary effects for hard switching mode when the state variable reaches uh, the boundary values. And also due to the applied uh, modified activa uh, activation function and uh, um, the window function uh, changes in broad border uh, ranges. And uh, uh, due to this, the operating frequency is uh, higher. Finally, uh, it could be summarized uh, that uh, the proposed uh, memory star model uh, is with a si simplified structure according to Lefton and uh, Laiko model. And uh, also, uh, it includes a highly nonlinear uh, window function, activation thresholds, uh, uh, a simple realization in a SPICE environment. Uh, almost without convergency problems. Uh, uh, and uh, it includes a smooth and differentiable um, sigmoidal uh, function instead of the heavy side uh, uh, standard uh, step function. Uh, simple examples uh, in um, several electronic devices as uh, memory crossbars uh, confirm the proper operation of the proposed uh, memory star model. And uh, uh, finally, uh, there is a link uh, where uh, many memory star models are uh, included and realized in LT spice environment. And uh, using uh, it, uh, the readers uh, um, can compare their uh, behavior and also can contribute uh, with other metal oxide uh, and uh, uh, memory star models uh, based on different materials. Thank you very much for your attention. Okay, thank you for your presentation. And now we have time for questions. Is there some question? No, so I, I would like to ask about uh, the, the models. So you present uh, four models and how you decide which model fits best for your application. Uh, thank you very much for your suitable question. Uh, indeed, uh, uh, the considered uh, model in the second presentation is uh, suitable for uh, uh, switching uh, devices, uh, uh, for example, uh, memory crossbars uh, where the memory element uh, uh, operates in a hard switching mode uh, and the resistance changes between the limiting values, uh, the on state and off, uh, off state uh, resistances. Uh, but in the previous presentation, uh, the previous memory uh, model 
is uh, used in uh, analog devices, where in uh, almost all the cases uh, the the memory store operates in a soft switching mode uh, or with a voltage lower than the activation threshold, uh, for example, in filters, in uh, uh, other uh, similar devices. Uh, and uh, then uh, uh, the switching properties are not so, uh, they are important, but uh, in this case, they are more uh, um, important uh, according to the operation in uh, between these uh, boundary resistances. Thank you for your question. Okay, thank you. And maybe I have one more. Uh, it's about the general application. As far as I understand, uh, the memory stores uh, try to replace uh, volatile memories. So uh, how you can, uh, or um, what is target application area? What, what do you want to do at, at the end of, of the research? Uh, thank you for your uh, question. Uh, yes, in the last uh, 10 and 15 uh, years, uh, uh, the memory stores uh, are promising uh, nano size uh, semiconductor elements with memory and switching properties, and they are um, compatible to the present uh, CMOS integrated technologies. And uh, the main uh, idea uh, of the community is to partial uh, substitution of uh, some of the CMOS elements uh, uh, using for memory and uh, neuromorphic uh, applications by uh, memory stores, uh, uh, because the memory stores are with lower power consumption and uh, um, also promising uh, uh, properties. Uh, and uh, in uh, devices as uh, Computers uh, and uh, other uh, analog and digital uh, circuits, uh, they could replace some of the resistors uh, uh, and uh, their changing of the behavior is uh, manipulated by external uh, voltage pulses. Uh, but in the uh, functional mode, they operate as a linear uh, resistors in the previous case. Thank you. Any other question? If not, uh, I thank you for, for the presentation. Thank you. Thank you very so much. So that was the last presentation of this session. So I am thanking all presenters for your presentation. And uh, I don't know if that is online, online but uh, uh, in any case. Uh, uh, yes, I'm here. Uh, Okay, do, do you have some, some remarks to organization now? Uh, only to those who are in the conference hall, uh, we will have conference lunch and after the lunch, we will have a closing session. Unfortunately, the closing session will not be online. So that is a main benefit to those who are here. <laughs> so thank you, Mr. Chairman for, for chairing and for participants who, read, who made presentation. All present, almost all presentations were made and I will discuss more during our, let's say, in closing session. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. <laughs>